Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Lagos. If you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking to watch this video. I create content around fashion, lifestyle, sewing, and DIYs. And if you're into this kind of content, please do well to subscribe before you go, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to watch my videos all the time. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut a pencil skirt. If you're new to my channel, I have a tutorial where I created a basic skirt pattern. So that's what I'm going to be using today to cut this skirt. I'll be leaving a link in the description box to this pattern, okay? So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing to do will be to fold your fabric in two. Once you folded the fabric in two, the folded edge is where we're going to be placing our pattern on. So now we're going to be cutting the front piece first and we're going to be placing the pattern on the, that folded edge. Before I go ahead, I'm just going to be notching my pattern and folding in the waistline of my front. Remember that my pattern has both the front and the back of my skirt. So I'm just right now folding in the back waist so that I just have that line where my front waist is going to be starting from. Once I'm done folding that in, I'm going to be placing my pattern exactly on the folded edge of my fabric. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to use a pin to hold it in place. So now next thing I'm going to be doing now is to be chalking out the line of my hemming, the length of my skirt rather. I'm going to be chalking it out on the fabric and then I'll go ahead and chalk out the full edge of the pattern. Next thing I'm going to be doing now is to chalk the dart of my skirt. I'm doing this by drawing a line following the dart on my pattern. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to take out the pins and I'm going to be applying the allowance on the sides of my skirt and as well as on the top. On the side, I'm going to be using one inch allowance all the way to the length of the skirt. And on the top bit of my waistline, I'm just marking half inch. I'm sorry, it's not really showing in the frame. I didn't realize I wasn't in frame. But I'm just marking half inch at the top of the skirt waistline. Once I'm done marking those allowances, I'm just going to go ahead now and use the scissors to cut out the full thing. Once I'm done cutting out the skirt, I'm just going to be transferring all these lines on the front, on this side now to the lower part of the skirt. Why I chalk all my lines, especially for a beginner, is so that you have a guideline to where you're sewing on. If you're a professional, you probably don't need to do all these lines, but for a beginner, definitely use the lines to make your sewing more accurate and then you're going to be having a guide to your sewing. I'm just placing the ruler and lifting up the fabric and then I'm transferring those lines onto the other side of 
my front skirt. Once I'm done transferring those patterns, I'm done with the front piece and I'm just going to keep this aside. And I'm labeling that the front, obviously, <laughs> but you need to know which is the front and which is the back, okay? So the next thing I'm doing now is to cut out the back piece. So I'm just going to take my fabric again and fold it into two, place my pattern, but this time around, I'm going to be folding in the zip. That line where I have my zip dart, that's the where my zip is going to be folding along. So I'm going to be cutting, folding it in because this is the back of the skirt and this is where the zip is definitely going to be on. So once I'm done folding in the zip, if you notice I've already brought out the front, the back waist back out. Remember I folded it in the first time for cutting of the front piece. So right now I'm just placing my pattern in such a way that I'm going to be having one inch allowance on both sides of my skirt. Remember the zip is going to be falling on the side close to the folded edge of my fabric and I'm needing I'm going to be needing one inch allowance there so right now all I need to do is to mark out the full shape of my pattern as I did with the front but make having in mind that I'm placing my pattern in such a way that I have enough allowance on both sides of my pattern So right now I'm just marking where the zip is going to be ending. Now I'm marking my back that just like I did with the front. Now I'm just cutting out my back piece after applying my one inch allowance on the side as well as the one inch allowance on the zip area. The back piece is going to be in two individual pieces. So it's unlike the front, which is a cut on fold, which is just one piece, the back is going to be two pieces. So right now I'm just marking the one, one inch away from on the zip side and I'm cutting out that bit. And I'm going to go ahead now and open up the rest of the, the zip side. So all the way down. So right now I have two pieces for the back. I'm just going to be transferring the lines once again as I did the front. So I'm just marking that zip where the zip is going to end on both sides. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to cut out my lining using the front and the back piece I already cut out. So for the lining, I'm going to be cutting the lining two inches shorter than the main fabric of the skirt. So you can see I already marked the line where my the length of my actual length of my skirt is going to end, and that's the line I'm going to be using for the length of my lining. I have gone ahead to chalk the same thing I have on the main fabric on the lining, and this is what I have for my lining piece. I'm now going to do the same thing for the back and here it is, this is how it looks. The lining is two inches shorter than the main fabric. So I'm done with the cutting of the lining. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is to cut out my band. So the length of my band is my actual waist measurement plus three inches for the hook and eye of my skirt. And the, the wideness of my band is five inches wide. So at the end of the day when I fold my band the way it's meant to be my band is just going to be two inches wide okay so here's my band i cut out the interfacing of the exact same length and i'm going to iron it together and fold it 
all right guys i'm going to be ending this video here because i don't want it to be too long but watch out for the continuation of this video and i'm going to be putting that out also today you can go over to that video and watch the rest of this tutorial okay see you guys over there don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and see you in my next video okay stay fabulous as always and i'll see you guys bye all right guys these are my pieces